Hello, hello. I hope you are doing great today. In this video, I would like to highlight Saumaturge or Saumaturge. I'm not exactly sure how that's pronounced, so sorry if I butcher this. Um, it's an upcoming RPG. Um, it looked very promising. I did not spoil myself too much on the story. Um, basically, besides that it's playing in Poland slash Russia, I don't know anything about it because when it comes to rpgs i really like to have the game to suck me in and immerse me into its uh, world and its story if it doesn't do that for me it kind of failed but let's not waste too much time and let the game speak for itself let's go For years I've been seeing you in my dreams, and lately more and more. I know it's you, but I can no longer recognize your face. I don't know if I'd recognize you if I saw you. I hope your condition hasn't worsened much since you last wrote. I can hardly imagine what a nightmare you're going through. Remember, you're not alone. I'm sure our father would be happy to help, if only you asked him. I assure you that for now, I haven't said a word to him about your search or your health, just as you requested. He doesn't know your intention, and with God as my witness, he'll not find out from me. I know, you think the only thing that can help you is a miracle. But such itinerant miracle workers, preachers, and folk mystics often take advantage of those in grave condition who are desperate or seeking help. I hope the man you're pursuing can actually ease your mind. But if not, remember that in the end, we will find a way to help you. Just because we can't see it now, does not mean it doesn't exist. Send word as soon as you get there. I want to know you are safe. With as much love as I have. Rikia. Could you spare a moment for me? I'd like to send a telegram. Of course. Pardon me, sir, but are you feeling all right? Yes, thank you. You're not looking your best. Thank you. What's your message? It should sure do look a little worn out. Oh, and the game's up. Okay. Um. What's your message? Go ahead and dictate your message. First, play a trick on him. I should mention the game also has full controller support, so I guess it will also be coming out on console. Um, let's play a little trick on Take the Take this down, please. Arrived. Very beautiful views. People honest at first glance. Sincerely, your barely living cripple. <laughs> I didn't mean to cause offense. Well, then strike that, please. Take this down, please. Arrived. I think I have found him. I hope he will receive me. I will write as soon as I am able. End payment? On receipt. But Anything to add at the end? We are. 
Hmm. We can send greeting sources to aggravate our father. Or add nothing at all. Maybe they just send greeting Please, sources. Uh, my love to you, my sister. Touching. Maybe she was from the linear from or linear. My name is Viktor Shulski. S Z U L S K I. And Victor with a W, not a V. Interesting name. Where's this headed? Warsaw. Russia. And this is supposedly Georgia. Russia here and Russia there. Russia everywhere, on every map. Maps change. I know, I know. Let's get on with it. This was a blood question. <laughs> Pardon? I was talking to myself. Which way to the village? The coachman is picking up the mail. Maybe he'll give you a ride. Thank you. Looney. Hey, what you thought? Okay, nice. And here we are. Um, I can control the character with the WASD keys. I could also play with the gamepad as mentioned. Earlier? Okay. Dear Anthony, it feels like ages have passed since your last letter, or maybe it is just the winter that makes everything good and warm seem distant. As you can guess, the life of an exile does not spoil me. Years ago, I was uprooted from my homeland and sent to a foreign land, among foreign people, to fight under the Russian banner. And how am I today? I live among people who hate me. I am losing my health and my mind, and cultivating the land that I fertilized fertilized with the blood and flesh of its sons and i cannot leave here i cannot stop reminiscing this seems to be my only means of escape please pray for me constantine i don't think this letter will make it through the censorship but if it does please tell anilka that the sword of her brought me solace until the very end oh my that already gets this pressing quickly <laughs> Dear Jenko, please stop with the gentry snobbery and listen to what I tell you. Times are changing. You can no longer rely solely on property ownership. The peasants are different now, and it is not all clear how things will turn out in the coming years. You have to look. Wherever you turn, you hear about revolts and peasant guerrilla. guerrillas. Sorry. Going at the lords with pitfalls. We have to protect ourselves. Have something on the side, some business that will allow us to live with dignity. That is why I'm telling for the last time, go to the bank in Tiflis and take a loan against half our assets in the Caucasus. Invest in the oil business in Baku. The railroad is already getting there and the world needs kerosene. You need to act. I will send you all the documents and authorization. Don't delay any longer. Greetings, Lou. Okay, that gives us a little feel for the time. This might be either before the Great War, like um, where the Russian Revolution was like brewing, but then the war came and people were kind of busy, I think. And I'm not exactly sure about that time period and I'm not an expert on this side of history. So uh, yeah, on the right click or right mouse button, we got this uh, nice special view. That leads us to our next objective, uh, which you saw here, which is this fella. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. The Tiflis Herald. The tragic events of August 29th have cast a shadow on the city of Tiflis, leaving it in deep mourning. Yesterday's rally, where reform proposals set out by Minister Alexander Balijin were to be discussed, was brutally interrupted by Cossack troops that stormed inside the municipal board building. Armed Cossacks entered the conference room wrecking havoc and turmoil. 60 people were killed and over 100 were injured. People are shocked at another instance of unjustified aggression against the nation of Georgia. Many believe more mass strikes are inevitable. Okay, I see I might have been mistaken on the location of Poland. Um, we seem to be in Georgia. Hello. Are you going to the village by any chance? Hello there. Where else? There's nowhere to go here, sir. The station, the village, and the cemetery. That's all. A horse can't go any higher. The village is what interests me. Well, if you've got reason to be there, climb in. A 
probably said, should say it like Georgia. It's, it's, it's the one in Eastern Europe. It's not the one or like West Asia, Eastern Europe. It's Eastern Europe. I'm sorry. Not West Asia. Not the one in North America. <laughs> or America, to be more specific. Um, let's ask about the so healer. Is it just locals living in the village? Who else would want to live in a shit hole like this? <laughs> I actually meant, is there anyone visiting, a guest? You came for some healing? Well, he's no guest here. He's been here months, my friend. The people are tormented, so he sure got folks to heal. Where might I find him? I bet he's still in the tavern. He prays this time of day. He prays a heck of a lot. You getting in or what? Yes, yes, stop I'd nagging. be grateful. Always nice to have someone to shoot the breeze with. Okay. I also have to mention the game looks pretty good in my opinion. Graphics are nice for an RPG. At this point I wonder if it's more like a disco Elysium type RPGs with and popular lately with like more dialect based and uh, maybe some detective work. Nothing to see around here. This is it's more a classical CRPG like Baldur's Gate. Place. Head to the tavern over there past the little square up the steps. They'll tell you where that preacher's at. Well, this time of day he'll be there himself. Thank you. Uh, there's still some glitches in the cutscenes. Um, some. Assets are loading and stuff, they hopefully um, smooth that out towards the release. What kind of man walks around with a uh, very red spokesman? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe someone that just owns a book. What? Proletarians? Britzler. <laughs> Soon the day will come when the people will throw off their hated shackles with one stroke of the mighty arm, hardened by work and struggle with misery. They will get rid of the spiced Tsar. May the, reason ev the recent events so agonizing for many be a torch that will kindle the flame of a just revolution. It will only take a few people to raise their heads proudly and abandon their work for the flame to become an inferno that will consume the oppressors and cleanse our land. It is already happening. Workers in major cities are preparing for action. And the country, country folk are also joining the fray. The hour of trial is upon us. Let us not lose heart. Dios mio. You guys Unrest is brewing. Week. Mulchard, we're here to keep order. And that don't come free. It's getting colder, so the price is getting higher. Hey, hey. Nice woods. Very warm. A proud answer is not what a proud answer it not only draws from your flaws flaw of pride's level but will also feed it even more. What the hell? We are not looking for trouble, say you're just passing through. Let's go with a proud answer. I need to understand this. Actually mechanic. I have particularly warm boots. Thanks. By doing that you feed the flaw of pride. Sooner or later it'll come back to bite them. Don't tempt me, Luca. Don't tempt me. Give me a sec. Got to sort out formalities with this tourist. Either's army. We're the Tsar's soldiers. Those don't look like soldiers' faces. Closer to thieves. I don't think he'll talk to us voluntarily. Oh, we got a fight. Nice. Victory conditions. When your enemies lose all their health points, you win the fight. That's uh, nothing new. The enemy's health points are shown on bars below their feet. Also happened before. While your health points are represented by a bar in the bottom left corner of the screen. And I also saw that one before. Great. So, let's start the fight. Oh, we got a card based attack system. Plant attack slow inflicts damage 11 to 14. I could try to knock that guy out in an instant. Let's maybe try that. Okay, so I guess we gave the initiative to him because the attack is slow. There we go. Number one. It's sometimes funny in these RPG that the guy with the knife just hurts as much as the guy that punches you, but never mind. Perception allows you to anticipate the enemy's actions to find out 
what they are planning, unfold the actions queue at the top of the screen. Each skill has its own speed. Slower skills are more powerful but require preparation, bringing the risk of an enemy attacking first. Yep, so basically just as I saw it. So if I do this, I'm definitely going to strike before him also if I do this. So maybe there's something like a critical, so I will try this one as I'm still going to strike first. Ah, crap. One HP left. Well, then let's just knock him out quickly. Would be nice if there was also something like you Serves being... Serves the is right. You being able to do more actions. They'll be too bad short to time spent. Got the better of them. These lousy street thieves. They got what they deserved. Oh. Such a good boy. No. I need food. You man, where's the dog food? <laughs> News from Jerevan, Yerevan. Our correspondents report that the newly appointed Governor General of the Jerevan, Yerevan province, Prince Napoleon Louis Joseph Jerome Bonaparte, has just arrived in town. Oh my god. The highest officials were present at the welcoming ceremony, followed by a dinner with representatives from Jerevan's most eminent families. The governor's general address to the townspeople is expected in the next few days. Aye. Napoleon types. So we should be... Yes. <laughs> I don't want to embarrass myself now, but I should be remembering this. It's like probably round about 780, 790, 1790 that is. Bonaparte coming in position. Okay, let's let's not try. I, I, I'm really not sure. I should be knowing this. I had this at some time in school and shit. Forgive me, sir. Is I your name Grigory <laughs> Efimovich Rasputin? Also, this is not a history lesson, so... <laughs> I forgive you. Holy hell. He really I'm looks sorry. like the one it's on the photos. Just, I've been looking for you for a very long time, and... And you expected a thinking simpleton. An illiterate who swindles sick people and claims he can speak to God himself. I already said I forgive you. Yes, I've heard. Especially in Petersburg. I've also heard about the healings, even hopeless cases, inexplicable ones. And what do you believe in? Mm. Let's keep you skeptical. Me, I'll believe all of it. And please believe me when I say I've tried everything short of a miracle. And I know the meaning of that word. I'm a thaumaturge. Where are you coming from? I'm from Warsaw. So, from Russia. Poland. <laughs> from which Poland? The Russian one, the German one, or the part that belongs to Austria? From Warsaw. Do you have a name? Viktor Shulski. I'm not going to talk about that. My path. I've already come across people who've lied the to The Polish people had a rough history and then with other Poland European nations, Charles. sadly. After them, others arrived. But they also were torches. very strong at some point, I had dominating large parts of Europe, so face, also must not forget that. My life. And now you say you're a wizard from an imaginary country that no one has seen on a map in over a hundred years. Forgive my amusement, I haven't had my first coffee yet. I forgive you, and I'm still asking for help. Prove your thaumaturge, and I'll hear what you have to say. Mm, yes. What would you like me to do, sir? I've met a few of your kind, so I know what you're capable of. Find something in this tavern that belongs to me, and tell me something only I could know. First, I need to have something personal that belongs to you to learn your trace. It's a sort of pattern I will use to recognize the other objects. Smell this. 
such a good boy. <laughs> prayer beads. Time one prayer beads with 30 wool knots. The zeal gushing from the beads impregnates the wool better than the tallow from the owner's strong fingers. The object pulses with a mixture of blue rapture, purple passion and graphite fierceness. The touch of the beads burns. It also attracts. Trace certain Rasputin. What? Okay. How should what? Conclusion: Rasputin's wish. Rasputin has a magnetized zeal and passion. He is a man with an attractive personality, strong and fierce, who is easy to follow. One just has to be careful not to get burned by the flame of his door. All right. Smell this. Say that now you've got everything you need. Okay. I'll return to you in a moment. Hopefully, I really I got all it. Wait. Observations are information that you acquire by interacting with people and items. Observations make up conclusions, a valuable source of knowledge about the world and events that can help you in different situations. Okay. Perceptions and objects. Somaturges possess perception, which allows them to read other people's emotions, actions, words, and thoughts left on items. In order to recognize them, you must develop the heart, deed, word, and mind dimensions sufficiently. Traces. On some items, you will find a trace of someone's, of someone's personality. It takes one of three forms. Unknown. You see it for the first time. Familiar. You have seen it before, but you are not certain who it belongs to. Certain, you know exactly who left it. Traces are only revealed once you pass the test of perception on this item. Okay. So let's check out this one. Ugh, dirty bowl. A dirty bowl that someone has eaten soup from. Dimension force too low, trace unknown. So let's maybe. Okay, we got also this one. Prayer book. An ornate prayer book containing prayers for the Russian Orthodox rite. Uh, right. It vibrates with a languishing moan of delight, the touch of silk, the scent of courtly powder. But that which is soft and warm is also pierced by the thorn of impending separation and longing. Trace certain Rasputin. Okay. Rasputin's passion. Who would have thought that this priest had such passion? Surprisingly, the mask of a healer concedes an outstanding lover, irresistible to women's hearts and bodies. Yeah, that's uh, his suit. Perhaps this is one of his healing methods. Okay. A, penitent no. a penitential device for voluntary self mortification of the body. Hercules. Dimension force to low mind traits unknown. Okay, I think this is all the traces we got in here. So obviously it's the prayer book. What have you learned, wizard? Well, you're a zealous man. It permeates every level of your personality, your faith, your abilities. Not such an impressive discovery. I haven't finished yet. In Petersburg, he left behind a very devoted and very young lady-in-waiting. At least one, my friend. Have a seat. That cocky bastard. <laughs> Tell me again. Why were you looking for me? Uh, tell him what problem you got. Ask about the lady in waiting from Petersburg. Yeah, maybe we should get to the point. A few years ago, I attempted to catch a wild salutor, and that ended with me losing contact with my first salutor. That means I can't develop my abilities. I know that my Uber is there. Sometimes he shows himself, but I can't feel the link anymore. Generally speaking, I'm losing it more and more each day. If it disappears, my mind... I'll lose my sense of reality. I'll fall into madness. I don't know if I can help you. The proud answer is... We had that before. So we can pay him well. Say you're prepared to back. 
I uh, say you can pay him more, I guess. I've it's... got money, if that's what matters. Give it to the needy. Your riches mean nothing to me. I meant I don't know if I'm able to help you. My gift is something I've received from God. Some I've helped, others I can't say. And I've never treated a thaumaturge. Maybe just do the same with me as with the others. We can try. Focus on my voice. You are safe. As long as you can hear my voice, you are safe. Let me gaze into your mind. Let me see through your eyes. Let me in. Shadows of sins past. Rasputin, there's no one here. Is there anything for us to be discovered? No. Okay. Uh, that guy is still scary. Or better, put creepy. Not directly scary, but I really would like to know what, what, what the deal is with this ghost creature. Hopefully we're gonna find out now. Of all, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. this. It's kind of immersive and sucking me in. <laughs> Just as I would like it to You're be. Blind. You've never grasped the science of spotting the perfectly obvious. Can you still not see? What do I supposedly not see? Flaw clouds your vision. It always has. Pride. Your damned pride and sense of superiority. I must have gotten that from you, father. You lose, idiot. You always do. You're even losing against yourself. You can't see, but can you at least hear? You're weak, stupid, and blind. See, Father, clearly. Will you be lying there much longer? I wanted to sweep. Where's Rasputin? In the cemetery, chasing away evil spirits and giving people comfort. You all right? Yes, yes. Absolutely. I wanted to sweep. I don't look too I'm great just though. heading out. <laughs> this babushka so doesn't like to see you again. And something else. I saw it clear as day. It wasn't a vision. It was a salutar, unbound by a bat. A wild one. And if so, that means there's someone in the village with a flaw that's attracting it. You talking to me? I was praying. I wanted to sweep. <laughs> and so you shall, good lady. Find the person with the floor that the white salute are sitting. Find Rasputin at the cemetery. Okay, finding that person might not be that easy, but we shall try. Multiple objectives. Quest has multiple objectives. Freely switch for the one you would like to track. After switching, the objective will reveal a path to follow. Sometimes this path is so mysterious that it includes even experience Salma Touch. No worries, the remaining objectives will provide a way to solve the quest. Okay, let's start with that one, and if we cannot find him, maybe go to rest the trust, okay. So he basically 
just tells us he might be somewhere around. <laughs> oh, hold on. No, but okay, it doesn't give me any farther Thaumaturgy never fails. Information. They're all gawk, but without lifting a finger. Just Vesna will bring it, Vesna will help. But if Vesna needs help with something, there's nobody to be found. I'll help you, Vesma. Vesna? What was it? That's not yours, don't touch! Vesna. All these newcomers causing more problems. And you wonder why nobody wants to help you? Sheesh, girl. Watch that attitude. I mean, let's be real. Who would like to help someone that, that treats you like that afterwards? Oh, we also get experience. Uh, made of string sticks and feathers, it's supposed to protect the residents from the influence of evil powers. Okay, so maybe that's a sign that behind this there is nothing to be found? I'm not sure how to interpret that, so... Okay, there's one more point. Kind of missed. So, uh, where is it? Where are you, clue? Uncovered secret. But where is it? Hold on. I mean, I can kind of see it, I think. Maybe I need to reach it from the other side. Long day ahead of me. Oh, that's coachman who came with. Is it something to tell her? Excuse me. I need to get to the local cemetery. Could you give me a lift? I've only just come back from the post office this morning. I'm not getting the horse going again. Back to the cemetery? It's not like anyone there is going to run away. Look, my horse is more dead than alive. No, no, no. We're not going to influence anything. We're just going to go for the search and right Yeah. My bad. Manipulation. Use sabotage. You can manipulate other people. First, you must know a person's secret, which you can learn by making conclusions. If the manipulation is available, the character interaction icon will change and appear, will appear next to the character. Okay, but I don't want to scam that good man who helped me before. Where's that uncovered secret? This is making me insane. Is, is that the uncovered secret? But I already covered, didn't I? Yeah, that doesn't count. Where the hell are you? Should be right here, so... Okay, this is kind of irritating. Maybe it's a mistake in the map. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just not understanding where to look. Clothes, where are you? Okay, so maybe I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> I'm not sure if I actually have to like cover them with, with this red circle or if they what just... Oh yeah, okay. I already saw that before. So, someone or something strangled this goose. From the goose twists, neck flows the anger and passion of the person who slaughtered the poor bird. The wave of emotions carries no desire for meat or feathers, only the sour taste of envy and the desire for all of Bogdan's property to go to hell. Holy. Salt on the doorstep. Salt on the doorstep protects from unwanted visitors and other misfortunes. For my dead body. I reject this verdict. Well, I expected as much, and he wanted to come see you himself. He was first to judge. I said what I said, and I won't change my mind. Go away, you're attracting gawkers. Not gawkers, a witness. And let him listen. He'll see it fairly. Sir, this liar and thief here 
stole the memento of my mother, and this witch says I'm supposed to hand my goose over to him, too. Because you strangled mine. Now what do I care about some trinkets your mother left you? Because we already know you strangled the goose, but you still haven't proved that Bogdan stole your pendant. Where is the justice here? Well, I would say the lady's right. <laughs> and that goes lies between the cowering peasants, the obvious bone of contention here. If the wise woman is to settle the dispute, she would better do it quickly. It will come to fisticuffs in a moment. Neighborly dispute. It seems that the neighbors quarreled over goose strangled in an act of revenge. Classic of the genre. Uh, I didn't pay attention. Yeah, 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 okay, I just, I wanna... Can I do that? I mean, The grey-haired lady is right. Without an assessment of the stolen object's value, or evidence it was stolen, this is just slander. And strangling geese is nothing short of mob justice. And who asks you, smartass? Don't worry, sir. When he sobers up, he'll apologize. It's only too bad about Goose. Come inside and tell me what you're doing here. Yes, ma'am. I shall follow you unconditionally. Let's have a quick look, though. Before the unconditional following starts. Diary of an Oblate Priest. They say that every nation has its demons, its phantoms, ghosts, and nightmares were created to make naughty children behave. But I have gone halfway around the world, preaching the word of God and learned the truth. These demons, fiends, and devils cursed by God are real, and they are everywhere. In distant Syrmia, people whispered the name Bukavak, a cool beast whose presence brings wrath and commands people to inflict violence on their neighbors. A fairy tale, you say? But I have seen Bukavak here in Piatgorx. I heard the rattle of his chains and felt his fangs digging into my neck, tugging at every fiber of my soul. And I felt the fury that his race, that this race brings with it. The anger from which there is no escape. The taste of blood in my mouth that no prayer can erase. May the holy walls of the oblate church stop this beast. Blessed Virgin, keep me safe. Did you write that already, old lady? Then uh, we got the trust problem. <laughs> Unfinished letter. So, so, my dear son, my heart is crying. Have I harmed you so that you write about me like this? That you renounce your legacy, your land, your blood? I have never said a word to you when you refused to farm with us, nor when you went to Tiflis to study. And now you are calling us stupid? Backward? You repeat after the rectors of yours. Trudichki, the Georgian, your language is the language of dogs and you want to write it only in Russian? Child, Georgia flows in your blood. She is the salt in your tears and the glue in your bones. You will not renounce her. You cannot. Okay. I really... Villages seem to have a certain respect for Let's you, pay so attention to dialogue first. I want to ask your help with something. I'm not getting any younger, boy. Talk before I drop dead. Okay, I still cannot do that. I guess I'm missing clues. A clues have taken advantage of the superstitious village. A lot of people benefit from your wisdom. They're superstitious and timid, as far as I've been able to figure out. Easy to control, right? Pot calling kettle. That, my boy, that you can ask that charlatan with fancy dress and beard. Who takes advantage of who here? Bah! The people here are believers, of course. But the spirit in the village is real, too. Do you mean Rasputin? <laughs> he didn't bring that evil spirit here. He draws on the spirit because he got folk to heal. But it's not him who brought it. We brought it on our own heads. And we've got to deal with it ourselves. I heard it howling. That's nothing human. One evil spirit here persecutes people. And you can hear it now and then, sometimes. Tragedies attract it, and impure thoughts. We here call it a Bukovac. 
But other places probably call it other things. An evil spirit's an evil spirit. It torments people and turns their weaknesses against them. And what if I told you I could get rid of it? I'd say I'll believe it when I see it. And I'd ask, how else can I help you? All right. Well then, I hope you'll still be alive when I get back, madam. Let's look for that book of art. Uh, let's see if we missed any clues around this corner. Okay. Yet again, he tells me there's like, oh no, this is this cover clues. Ah, anchor. Okay, I was a little bit confused before. I really let like, never mind. Never mind. I'm sorry for running around before and <laughs> not realizing that he actually just marked the clue I already had found. Okay, there's also one more. Am I sensing? So that's how you want to play. Wooden box, a handcuff, elaborately painted wooden box. Dimension force too low, word one, trace unknown. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Come on, Vesna. I'm telling you, go away or I'll call for help. Help! Help! Somebody help me! I think nobody what likes... What are you doing here, you tramp? Ah, they... I'm not looking for trouble. I just wanted to talk. We'll talk, all right. Ah, you hillbillies. Oh my god, they got a lot of HP. Hmm. What? Let's try this. Salvaturgy points. On the Grimoire's cover, there's available Salvaturgy points that you can spend on a tree. Purchase skill upgrades, improve your powers within any dimension, and enhance Salvaturgy to enable further development. Oh, we got already some points. Uh, let's see what we actually got here. Okay, we got upgrades, but I guess that's not available yet. Floor. Many people have flaws, but only Sabotage are aware of their existence. They are blemishes on a personality created as a result of turbulent experiences. They attract Salators and allow young Sabotages to make a pact with their first Salator. Your flaw is pride. If you nurture it by making the right choices, it will impact the course of events in the future. So I guess the Salator is uh, that skeleton thingy that's with us. Yeah, up here. That's our Salator. Eerie intoxication, inflict damage, restores your health point by one, which is half of what you've lost. What? Okay, each subsequent action that restores health point will restore less of it. Inflicts damage to target's health point, yada yada. Reduces focus, removes all negative states, inflicts damage, restores your health points. Okay. Oh, the more health points, the higher damage. Okay, okay, interest. So this one gets more powerful. The more powerful enemies but let's go back to here what do we even have uh we got gamble gives a 60 per chance of dealing double damage and also this upgrade it's a point to dimension hard relaxation restores focus by three this upgrade it's a point to dimension mind dimension force d this upgrade it's a point to dimension d Thief of Sword reduces focus by one additional point if the enemy is in the suffering state. Fortune gives a 50% of interrupting the enemy's planned action. Oh my, this sounds really cool. The upgrade adds a point to the dimension word. Let's develop that one. What would we have here? Powerful mind. Mental defense. Makes you lose focus instead of taking damage with a 4 to 1 ratio. And it will further increase our dimension word. Um, let's go with Gamble also. I think these two might be a nice combination to at least survive this fight. Skill upgrades. Each skill can be upgraded. Place the upgrade in the designated spot on the skill icon. Each upgrade takes some space. Choose wisely. Oh, that's it. Hold on. Ah, okay, okay. I guess like that. Huh. 
Looks good. Hopefully. Is good. Haven't seen that one before. Let's see. Go get some. Strong attacks and focus in all launches. Strong attack. Against an enemy, you must take away all of their focus, causing them to enter breakout states. Strong attacks are much more powerful than other skills and allow the fight to end quicker. Okay, let's see if we might get lucky here and maybe deal double damage. This one is going to strike me first, but only three doesn't sound too bad. Eerie intoxication. Oh, it's up here also. Oh, up here is whistles. Okay, I didn't realize that. Flix damage to target health point. Um, yeah, yeah, maybe, think, think, hmm, let's just try this one, ah, there we go, even got the double damage, nice. Why did he hit me two times? Uh, okay, I'm kind of confused. Did I hit the wrong one? I don't understand. <laughs> well, maybe... Let's see. Who are we in this list? Now, both of them will hit before I hit them. Is that correct? Okay, I think I misclicked something. I didn't want to do that. Why was the action cancelled? We could have just hit the other guy. Bro, help me out a bit. Oh yeah, I almost died here. Or got knocked out, I don't know. Or what is actually happening. <laughs> oh nice, he healed me. And we got a lot of experience. The devil sent you. You could say that, sure. Okay, that fight wasn't perfectly executed by me. And let's just do a very quick check for more clues before we bugger Vesna again. There's one more clue. At the very least. Broken shards of a blue ceramic dish. The broken ceramic trembles with anger and frustration. The quarrel erupts suddenly, spewing out bile of mutual complaints and grievances. Its sweet and pungent taste stu stupefied. Compelled screaming, finger pointing, and hurting. Frenzy lasted until all involved were out of breath. Pray certain Vesna. Okay, I guess we got her. The bro. What? Oh, okay. I just opened the entries. Knock, knock. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Hold on, do please, I have to please, fight again? Please, please. Okay, it's different. I thought it's the same dialogue as before. Hmm, so I'm uh, supposed to be getting to her. This box is marked with words of love, sweet as kisses, the name of Vesna Luca intervine, cuddling tenderly against the wood against it. I had that before. <laughs> so maybe there was something being added to it. Alright. But actually, I'm also kind of on my time limit when it comes to the games, as I still want to check out more of them. And my time is not as plenty as I would like lately. Let's just get that more upgrade. Yeah, uh, this is Soma Touch. I'm actually kind of sold on it. Um, I mean, I really like the, the historical setting that is also realistic. Like, it's not a fictive setting, but obviously it is. But um, yeah, there's like real characters. I always appreciate it that the games that also really lift and are documented on, like Rasputin in that case. Not our main protagonist, but yeah, I mean, I really like the European history as there's a lot of interesting stuff that happened, um, a lot of sick stuff also that happened. And check it out for yourself if you're interested. Sadly, I couldn't show much more at this point, I would have loved to, but um, 
yeah like explained i'm very sorry for that let me know what you think about the game in the comments down below maybe even like or dislike whatever you think would be more fitting have a great day thank you very much for coming by and i hope to have you back for another one soon goodbye